I also liked the uh, Ritz Brothers. And nobody knows. Yes, the thing is, I don't know the work of the Ritz Brothers. And I worked, hear about the Ritz yeah. Brothers, but I don't know their work. Were they? They were sensational. They, they danced in unison perfectly. They sang. Harry Ritz was. He, Harry Ritz had the first. Everybody, when you watch Jerry. Jerry Lewis, yeah. Jerry Lewis, or Sid Caesar, or countless great physical right. comics, they're doing, they're doing Harry, which I wouldn't take. I'll tell you the truth. It's Harry. And now, in just one minute, we bring you the Ritz Brothers. <laughs> I don't know when I first heard the name the Ritz Brothers, but it was that interview between Mel Brooks and Conan O'Brien that made me think I was missing out on something by not knowing who they are. I have always been a fan of old comedy, and I found that their names pop up again and again. What a disgraceful display. I've seen more orderly behavior in a Ritz Brothers film. I know who it was. I know. Harpo. <laughs> Harpo's with the Ritz Brothers. What are you talking about? No, no. That's Harry Rich. That's the one. No. Well, well, I think the Rich Brothers was Harry Rich was really my idol. That's interesting. He was the idol of also Martha Ray and Jerry Lewis. A lot of people wow. took from him. Basically, the Ritzes in film histories aren't that well regarded in terms of movie history. No, no, they 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 aren't. But but Harry Rich was beautiful. <laughs> So who are the Ritz brothers? There was Al, born on August 27th, 1901, Jimmy, following on October 4th, 1904, and finally, Harry Ritz, their unofficial leader, born on May 22nd, 1907. They became stars in vaudeville before making the jump to Broadway, and then to movies in the early 1930s. Altogether, they made 15 feature films, along with three short subjects, first at Fox, where they butted heads with studio executives over being stuck in B-movies, and then at Universal. While working at Fox, Daryl Zanuck, the studio president, told Harry Ritz that he could be a much bigger star if he would only drop his brothers from the act and work as a single. Harry refused. He continued to work with his brothers for the rest of their lives. Their real love was in live performance, and after 1943, they made that the main focus of their career. The Ritz brothers are often compared to the Marx brothers, but I don't think that comparison makes a whole lot of sense, outside of the fact that both comedy teams are made up of siblings. The biggest criticism that people seem to have of the Ritz brothers is that Al, Jimmy, and Harry didn't have clearly defined personas. Unlike the Marx Brothers, all three Ritz Brothers seem to be playing basically the same character. But I actually think that's a big part of what makes the Ritz Brothers great, and it's something almost totally unique among comedy performers. Most comedy teams are built on conflict, which involves a lot of fighting, anger, and negativity, so it becomes strangely comforting and refreshing to watch people performing with such synchronicity and harmony. They're like one mind in three bodies. One of their most vocal fans was legendary film critic Pauline Kael, 
who ranked them above the Marx Brothers and Marcel Marceau. Al Ritz would pass away in 1965, but Jimmy and Harry continued performing as a two-person act. As he did in the old days, Harry refused to work alone, always insisting that he perform alongside his brother. Their final film appearance together is in the 1975 film Blazing Stewardesses, taking over parts that were originally written for the Three Stooges. The following year, Mel Brooks would give Harry a brief cameo in his film Silent Movie. Jimmy Ritz passed away in 1985, with Harry following him the next year. And in the years since, the Ritz brothers have simply dropped off the cultural radar. So could the Ritz brothers not, did it not get through on film? Or do you think it did get through on film? Is there a reason why people don't know the Ritz brothers the way they know the Marx brothers? What perpetuates uh, our, our feeling about people is their longevity. There's very little or no longevity if 20th Century Fox doesn't reissue Sonia Haney movies yeah. in which the Ritz brothers were the comic re relief. In a time when it's theoretically possible to stream any film you want instantly, the films of the Ritz brothers are still very difficult to find. As of this recording, the only film that seems readily available on any streaming service is The Gorilla a public domain film co-starring Bela Lugosi and widely considered one of their worst. I think it would be a crime to lose this legacy. The comedy, music, and pure entertainment of the Ritz brothers deserves to be seen by future generations. Even if they did beat up Donald Duck for basically no reason. <laughs>